Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today I was going to talk about Firewall Monitor. Firewall Monitor is a capture tool from Checkpoint and this is something that is installed by default on your gateways and this is something that has been existing in Checkpoint for a long long time. This is not really CCSA, it's more like CCSE but it's really good to be aware of how Firewall Monitor works and how to make it easier because Firewall Monitor can be quite complicated. The firewall monitor tool can capture traffic when it comes to different part of the checkpoint. It can do the inbound interface and outbound interface and both of them and before specific modules. So if we check the administrator guide and we can see the firewall monitor part in this one is quite large. And if you just glance on it, it's quite complicated. There is a lot of um, variables that you can enter how to use this command and you really need to, well, read it through if you want to use it in an efficient way. And there's also a difference in it between the different versions that you're running on the gateways. So there's a new and an old way. And an issue with this new and old way is not actually consistent. So if we bring up the SK for firewall monitor and that's SK30583. And they say basic, I wouldn't agree with basic, but let's go with it. Then you can see here, there is a lot of warnings. For example, you can only run one instance of firewall monitor at a time, and that's fine. And the second part comes with uh, secure Excel. And it's different depending on what version that you're running on. On newer versions like R8040, all traffic will be monitored. But when it comes to R8020 and R8030, it's a bit complicated. And more or less, it's stated here. So you need to make sure to have the correct jumbo on your boxes. And more or less, if you're running R8040, the default behavior will be to monitor all traffic. So if you're running like R8010, then you need to turn off Secure Excel to be able to see all the traffic in Firewall Monitor. And turning off Secure Excel within production, that can be an issue because the CPU load on the gate will, will increase by a lot. Secure Excel is about accelerating traffic and more or less limiting the amount of traffic that need to be processed by the CPU. When it comes to firewall monitor, you can also see like the packet depending on where they are. And you have inspection points and in checkpoint they are referred to small i, big i, small o and capital O. And within uh, the newer ones, there is even added more. So for R8030 and 40, you have more than these four. So you can see more of the firewall chain, so to say. When it comes to the filters that you can use in firewall monitor, well, that's a lot. So it can be quite, well, advanced to really get the filters that you want. And I will show you things to help you. For example, Danny from the forum, he has made a firewall monitor super tool. I was planning to show you that one. And there is also like a tcpdump101.com that has like a filter generator where you can actually put in on a website and get the filter that you desire. As I mentioned before, there is a difference between the versions. So this part, for example, is not valid for R8030 that we're currently running. And this is the new way to do the filters, but um, we need to use the old way because the old way is for R8030. For R8040, this part is also included. So I'm logged into my Windows 10 host and I'm logged into user mode in Gateway 1. And uh, let's go into expert. And if I'm in expert mode, I can actually type firewall monitor right away. The problem with this one is that it will show a lot of things and it will take all the traffic with no filters whatsoever. So control C to stop this. And if you just have this mumbo jumbo wrapping on your screen in a full production one, well, you will not find anything. Of course you can grep and so on and really find things, but uh, the first thing is to start to use the filters. So one thing that we can start with is just to add dash T for time because all these lines, they don't have any timestamps. So you don't know when it happens. So if we just do the dash T and we see the traffic. So now you can see that we have a timestamp. So let's just take here 
13th of September 2020, 1350, 12. So all of this is actually the timestamp. Then this part is the interface itself. And this is the inspection point. So this is small o. And small o is referring to here. Before outbound firewall VM. So this is before it leaves the machine. So if you want to follow a complete section, well, there's actually four types that you need to check. So you need to find the small i, the, the big i, the small o, and the big o. But this is not really enough to find stuff within a production network anyway. So let's add some more filters. And then you can do firewall monitor dash t for the timestamps. And then you can add dash e because we are on the older version, so to say. R8020 actually has more functionalities when it comes to the firewall monitor than R8030. So, well, and then we can type accept host. And then we can put in the host IP of our uh, machine that we want to check for. And in this case, it will be our Windows 10 machine. So 192.168.1.50. And then um, bracket them in. And we need to finish the command like this. Press enter. And here we see that the filter is applied. Keep in mind, we haven't filtered on like source or destination. So we're still getting a lot of outputs. Well, let's fix this as well. So for example, if you want to do an output to a file where it's easier to check, well, then we can just type uh, dash O and then uh, firewall, then the path firewall mon dot cap. So here we get the, the stuff into a file instead. And you see here, that's the number of lines that is in this file. So let's stop it. And it's not possible to like open it with like cat and so on. Uh, you actually need to open it in something else. And uh, a better option is to open it within uh, Wireshark. So let's do clear. Ah, it took a while to get it to really stop. <laughs> um, but um, let's download this one. So we have WinCSP Win SCP here. And I'm actually logged in with the SCP user that we have created in a previous video. And then we go to var. So let's go into var, log. And uh, here we have our file. So if we try to download this one now, well, we actually got failed because it's not we that has created the file. We are creating this with the admin user and I'm trying to download it with the SCP user. So you can do like this. And this is the quick and dirty way, so to say. You can do change mod 777 and then var log and then the file. And this changed the permission on the file. So let's try to download it again. And now we have downloaded it. And let's see if it contains anything. So I have Wireshark on this one. So here you can see the file. A lot easier to read this and then you can apply the filters in Wireshark to find the traffic that you want to. But how to make this easier? Well, first of all, I can show you like this. There is a website called TCP Dump 101 and here you can actually have a tool for firewall monitor. And here you can pick like which is the original version or the new uh, dash F version. So we are on R8030 and that's the original version. So currently you can see the command here, the firewall monitor dash E and then it check only the accepted one. And you can add more filters here. So for example, we want to have, um, we want to enter it to a file so we can do like um, YouTube. And here it will add the dash O for the output and in YouTube. It's better to do it in like var slash log and like this dot cap. And you see here that the output is now changed. 
keep in mind that special characters and so on may generate uh, errors. So you need to make sure if you put in here that you actually know what you're doing. You can do uh, specific here if you don't want to see everything, then you can pick like which part of the, where do you want to see the packages? Uh, we want to see it everywhere. And then you don't need to remove anything here. You can add filters. So for example, if you want to add a source or destination, so let's do uh, like a, a source or host. Then we can do our IP. And here you see the host. And this is source and destination. If we only want to do the source, for example, we need to change that. And we see how the, the command is actually changing here. So that's really good. So this is a way to help you to write the correct firewall monitor syntax. Of course, in an exam things, you need to know this, but uh, this is a good way to practice on how to fix it. And of course you can add more filters. So if you want to do like uh, ICMP only, it show you how to do this. So uh, let's test this. We skip the output and we only do this one and we only checking for ICMP. So copy and back in our Windows host, paste. I think we need to do like this. Let's try like this instead and ICMP. Ah, that's working better. So let's do some ICMP instead. So CMDB here and then uh, ping Google. And now I see the ICMP of Google. So, well, it's not 100% uh, bulletproof, but at least you get uh, the ID. And then control C to abort it. So uh, that was the website, so to say. Let's clear this. And if you want to do the easiest way possible, well, check out this one. So Danny has made something called the Firewall Monitor Super Tool. And this is a one-liner to assist you to run Firewall Monitor. And more or less, copy paste all this in expert mode. So we go into our Windows 10 host and paste. And all this mumbo jumbo, either you can just check it out or trust me that this is working perfectly. So just press enter. So here we get an a guide where we can put like the IP address of what we want to check and uh, let's check for our host 192.168.1.50 and we can of course add more things here and we can put like specific port numbers so let's do 443 and port 80 and let's check for both TCP and UDP and uh, do we want to put it out somewhere? Well, let's skip it. But enter. And here you see the line that it's supposed to want to run. Do you want to do this? Executing? Yes. Now it should only show you 443 and port 80. So let's do some web surfing. So we do like this so we can see both open Google Chrome and we see here already that we have traffic. So one thing that I think that Danny should add is the timestamp. But um, well, let's go to YouTube and we see traffic to a lot of strange IPs. And if you want to stop this, well, just press Ctrl C and it stopped. And if you want to do this the, the best way possible, well, always do it to an output file so you can do it in Wireshark and then you can check it. Or if you do like this, well, then use enough filters or use enough grep commands to figure out what you actually want. And I think that's it for the firewall monitor part, at least a brief introduction on how to use it and how to make it easier for you to use the firewall monitor super tool and this website to figure out how the filters should look like. 
If you did enjoy this content, please uh, comment, like and share the video. And just as a reminder, please make sure to check out the Checkmate community so you can see the awesome new tools that uh, the community is actually building together so it makes your and my life easier to work with Checkpoint. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.